Washington has decided to fire Jay Gruden after an 0-5 start. Quite frankly, I'm not surprised by this. The writing was pretty much on the wall. After going 0-5, I mean, it was just a foregone conclusion that he'll no longer be head coaching Washington. Now, in his defense, he did have to deal with a multitude of injuries. Starting with Alex Smith with that horrific leg injury. And then they lost Colt McCoy for most of the season. And then both tight ends are out. Jordan Reed is out and Vernon Davis is out with concussions. So I'm not going to put all the blame on Jake Gruden for Washington struggling. It's not his fault. In fact, let's talk about last season. Washington was in playoff contention until Alex Smith got hurt. If it wasn't for that, Washington would have surely made the playoffs. But when Alex Smith got hurt and then Colt McCoy got hurt, it pretty much derailed the season. And then this season coming up, once again, the quarterback situation was not stabilized. And then on top of that, Darius Geis got hurt again. So not only was he hurt last season, he was hurt this season as well. So I'm not going to put all the blame on Jay Gruden. Now, has he made some questionable decisions? Yes, no doubt about that. Could he have made better choices? Could he have made better play calling decisions? Yes, of course. But he's not completely at fault. So I don't think him being fired is going to solve all the problems for Washington. The injury bug seems to bite this team very hard. So many players on both offense and defense are getting injured. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe is the conditioning is, that's an issue. I'm not sure. But they've got to find a way to keep their star players healthy. It's just as simple as that. If your quarterback's banged up and your running back is banged up and your offensive line is banged up, it's just so hard to win. Even with everybody healthy, it's hard to win. Let alone when players are constantly getting injured. That makes it even harder to come out on top. So I'm not gonna completely blame Jay Gruden for the woes that have plagued Washington. Is he part of the problem? Yes. But he's not the whole reason. I'm not gonna go that far. So we see what happens next. Right now, uh, Callahan is coaching the team. I don't know what's going to happen with Dwayne Haskins. They'll probably start him later on this season at some point. Because, hey, let's face it, Washington is out of playoff contention for the most part. 0-5, oh, I mean, the chances of Washington making the playoffs this season is pretty much slim to none. So that's what's going to happen with that. But I think they might improve under Callahan a little bit. Maybe this firing will add a spark under the team. I know that they're often undermanned with all these injuries and also Trent Williams holding out too, which is another problem. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why he's not playing, but hopefully that'll get resolved soon. But I think they'll find a way to rally around Callahan, their coach, Bill Callahan, and they'll start winning little by little. And hey, hopefully if they do a good job, he can be the head coach. But like I said, it's unfortunate that Jay Gruden got fired. He's not completely the reason why Washington is struggling. He is part of the reason. But to put all the blame on him, I do believe is unfair. So like I said, he got fired today. It's unfortunate. But hey, that's the way the business is. When you're winning, they want to keep you around. If you're a coach and you're losing, then hey, you're pretty much all but done. You know, after three, four years, if you're not producing, you're out. And he lasted five years. Now, they did make it one year to the playoffs under his uh, leadership. So he did have one season where he took Washington to the playoffs as a coach. But other than that, it's just been, just hasn't been good overall. But we'll see where Washington goes from here. I think they're going to struggle. They're probably going to finish below 500. It's looking like that. And hey, it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll get better. They'll start to win more games down the future. 
maybe they'll get more pieces. The NFL draft next season has a lot of talented players coming out. So we can definitely feel some weaknesses with the next year's draft coming coming up. We'll see what happens there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, you wouldn't miss out on, on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.